Welcome back to Des Moines Drake Stadium. Great site for the 2012 NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships. Final women's event here, the 4x400 relay. The Oregon Ducks in lane number four, as you see the collegiate and NCAA records. LSU five and Kansas six. Those are the teams to keep an eye on. Oregon third last year. LSU number one in the collegiate list, fourth in the world. English Gardner for the Ducks. Latoya McDermott, the junior for LSU. Kansas with Denisha Morris. Arizona out on the far outside. And Shafri Romero, a sophomore for the Wildcats. Lane eight. And the rest of the world closing in on her slightly. English Gardner running a very fine leg. The sophomore who won the 100 in lane four. She may pass off first. I think she will. You see her in the green and yellow of Oregon. Hands it off to Okadogbe, the sophomore. Somewhere right around 50.5 or six or something like that for unofficially for English Gardner. Rebecca Alexander, the senior for LSU, second leg in lane five next to Okadogbe. Oregon off to a great start here in the final of the 4x400 relay. Oregon and LSU one and two, but Oregon has some room in front of that pack. Okadokbe, the sophomore for the Ducks, challenged now by Rebecca Alexander, and LSU now has the lead as they hand it off to Cassandra Tate, the senior. Third leg here. Laura Raisler, the sophomore for the Ducks. Raisler, a very solid 400-meter runner, ran 51.8 in her trials to help her team move from third to second and they moved up and got into the final. LSU, Oregon, third place is Texas A&M right now, but LSU extending their lead with Tate the senior. LSU is the 2012 indoor champion in this event. And they had the fastest time in the trials at 328. Now, Phyllis Francis is the anchor for Oregon, and she was sensational in her anchor leg. 50.18 seconds in her heat, no less. She's gonna really charge here. Let's see what happens. Cassandra Tate hands it off to Jonique Day for the Tigers, the senior. Final leg here, four by 400 relay. LSU, Oregon, Kansas, Texas A&M. One through four. Don't leave your television sets. Watch this last lap. Francis stalking LSU and Janique Day. Long strides from Francis and she's making up some ground. The sophomore in second place. Oregon tracking down LSU. Francis trying to get to Day. LSU and Oregon. Here they come. Down the stretch. It's LSU with Day. Can Francis make a push? She's coming on the outside. Phyllis Francis of the Ducks trying to chase down Janique Day of LSU. LSU and Oregon. And it appears Oregon has pulled it out. Francis and Day very close at the finish. Oregon wins it. Three minutes, 24. 0.58 seconds, LSU five one hundredths of a second behind. Close finishes throughout this event. What a meet this has been. English Gardner got Oregon out really well. Ran a terrific leadoff leg. LSU came back on everybody. And that second exchange for them, Rebecca Alexander was terrific and handed off with a nice lead. And then the anchor came about. I wondered if Francis left too much of a lead. She played Russian roulette out there to try and run down Janique Day, but she was successful doing it. And she had a sensational split. I don't know what it is. We'll try and get it for you. But it was lights out incredible. And their time is just fabulous. 
So the 4 by 400 relay, Oregon with Francis on the anchor leg, beating out LSU, Kansas third, and LSU has the team championship, it appears. They wrapped up that title despite that Oregon victory in the 4 by 400 That 4 by 4 you just watched, the second fastest time in the world by any country or anybody. Here's Joe Montgomery. All right, guys, I have the 4 by 4 as well as a couple other members of the LSU team. What did your coach tell you this morning, Cassandra? Um, hey, we knew this morning it was going to be a close hunt. We figured it was going to come out to a 4 by 4 but no matter what, we wanted to go out here and give a great effort in each event. You guys break Texas A&M's streak of national champions. What is special about this team? It's great. Um, we have depth in almost every event, and we've been working for this all year. For some of us, it's our last time, so we wanted to come out with the win, and we did. Congratulations, girls. Go enjoy this. Thank you. Finishing in sixth place. Seconds Great effort from LSU and from Oregon in the 4x400 relay. Tremendous finish here at Drake Stadium in Des Moines. Let's and how about these LSU girls, huh? Just tremendous. I mean, that relay that, that they ran here, I know they got second, but that's faster than the Jamaican national team that will go to the Olympics has run. And Oregon did the same thing. I mean, it just, we're seeing phenomenal performances here out of these collegians.